Escape from the Overworld, Chapter 1 The monsters came out whenever it got dark. I didn't realize the sun was setting until it was too late. I had gotten totally caught up in what I was doing, building my very first treehouse. When you're the son of the man who's the best builder around, it means you have a lot to prove. I was Stevie, from a long line of Steves, in a land where just about everyone was named Steve. Here's the thing, though. My dad is THE Steve. No one calls him that to his face, but everyone knows him, and everyone knows I am his son. My dad had forged a diamond sword when he was twelve, only one year older than I am now. The sword was so good, he still uses it to this day to slay zombies, and he is known as the best zombie slayer around. He has the greatest farm in the area, too, with wheat, pumpkin, carrots, and everything else. He likes to go mining and isn't scared of going down to the fiery realm of the nether, even though there are even worse monsters there and no sunlight to protect you from them. And then there's everything Dad has built. The giant farmhouse, the barn, the summer home, the winter home. You get the idea. All the houses had iron doors to keep monsters out, plus torches to keep them from spawning near us. My dad also tamed an ocelot he found, making her into a sweet cat, because cats are good at keeping creepers away. I would help dad farm and go with him to the nether, but when it came to making and handling things on my own, that was different. My dad would brag, someday Stevie is going to be a great builder, but I didn't feel like he was encouraging me or anything. It felt more like he was saying, Stevie's going to be a great builder because he has no other option except to live in my shadow. One thing my dad had never built was a treehouse, so I decided that would be where I'd have to start to show off my skills. The first thing I decided to build was my own stone tools. They wouldn't be as cool as a diamond sword, but everyone had to start somewhere. I picked a tree that was just out of sight from the biggest house dad had built, which was the house we were living in at the time. I figured this gave me enough distance to go to say that it was my tree, but it was still not too far from dad or home. Next, I walked all over and gathered wood from oak trees. My dad had a whole stockpile of obsidian sitting around that could be used for building, though I knew better than to touch that. Obsidian was really difficult to get, so I knew dad wouldn't want me to use it after all the hard work he put into collecting it. 